Let's talk some ball with John Robinson, presented by Duncan. Glad to have you with us, Mr. GM. Congratulations on the victory. As you reviewed the tape of your win over Indianapolis, what were your most positive takeaways? Well, I think it continues to be the resiliency of our football team. You know, we faced some adversity throughout the course of that game. You know, it started with a three and out. We turned the ball over a couple times down in our red zone. Looked like we were going to get points, but the defense showed up, got some stops, held them to field goals. You know, and then and then offensively, we just kept chipping away. You know, we stuck to the run game. You know, Derek pounded and in there, Ryan on some some of those keepers came up with some third down plays that were key for us down the stretch to salt that game away. You know, the adversity and our ability to overcome that just seems to keep showing up. Jeffrey Simmons is a big part of this edition of Titans All Access. I want you to talk about the progress of the third year defensive tackle from Mississippi State. Yeah, I mean, he's, he continues week in and week out to do an outstanding job for us. You know, there's a, there's a handful of plays that everybody sees, you know, those wow plays where you're screaming sack or it's a big tackle for loss, but it's the down in and down out play where he's taking on two blockers to free somebody else up. He's coming out of what we call the stack and chasing a screen play to get a big tackle for us to save a touchdown. You know, those down in, down out plays, you know, couple, couple with those wow plays, you know, he just continues to show up week in and week out. All right, I want you to talk to me about this Jets team we're going to see this weekend because this club is so different, not only from the Jets team you saw three years ago, but even from the Jets of a year ago. Yeah, I mean, I think schematically, you know, with Salah coming over, there's a lot of things that San Francisco did that they've incorporated there defensively with moving the front around, trying to get their playmakers in impactful spots. You know, offensively, schematically, it's a lot like what LaFleur did when he was here. Now his brother's kind of running the same thing in, in New York. You know, and they've got some firepower over there. Corey, we know Corey, he's up there now. Elijah Moore, Keelan Cole, they've got this real cue. So they're trying to get it going. But it's a lot of similarities to what, you know, you saw when you turn on the San Fran stuff. All right, the rookie quarterback, Zach Wilson, BYU, a guy you certainly broke down in the 2021 draft. What skill set does he possess that makes him dangerous? Yeah, I mean, I think he's, you know, he's got a really cool skill set. He's got a ton of arm talent. He can make all the off, you know, platform throws. Uh, a lot of those wow throws that you see Mahomes and Lamar Jackson and all those guys make, he can do that. You know, he's got good pocket mobility. He can run. He's not a runner per se. He looks like he runs to throw. He's starting to gel with some of those receivers. So, a ton of upside for the young rookie. The Jets' defense has been solid through their first three games. John, what impresses you about them? Yeah, well, I think they've got three levels of playmakers. They've got May in the back end, who's around the football a ton, similar to what we saw with Jamal Adams, you know, out in Seattle. C.J. Mosley's back at Mike Linebacker. He's all over the field. He's a vinyl player, and they've got a lot of guys up front. Quinnen Williams, this Fadakasi's making plays. Frank Myers at ends making plays. Coach Sala does a good job of moving those pieces around and putting them in places to be disruptive.